0817923002 all right at nigeria info ph at nigeria info ph is where you will find us on facebook and on x at nigeria info ph is where you find us on facebook and on x this morning we're talking about diy do it yourself what can you do at home what goods what services can you make or, or or carry at home that you do not need a professional to help you with and the big question here is is there a culture of doing that in this country now from what i gathered a few days ago in fact yesterday in particular it seems as though less people particularly those who have children right now maybe who have uh i'll say toddlers right um they are not as hands-on as people who are toddlers, I'd say, two decades ago when you know when we were when we were you know kids, you know. So let me quickly reel out some of the things that I can do now on my own without necessarily calling for a professional to come help. Number one, I can service my generator. I can take out the uh, the um, what you may call it the oil, right? I can also change the plugs. I can also. Right. Once I get my hands on a good pair of uh, spanners, I can also remove the air, uh, the air filter and replace it. All right. I can clean it and replace it myself. And I can also do the same, interestingly, for a diesel generator. All right. Diesels don't use spark plugs. They, they have what you call heater plugs. I can actually, at least I've, I've learned how to loosen them, not for very big generators, but, you know, for home use. I can loosen them, all right, clean them out with sandpaper and flush them out and have the generator back on. That I can do. I can also change bulbs, all right? I'm pretty good at changing bulbs. They, nobody better than me than changing bulbs uh, in my house, all right? So I can also change bulbs. And also sockets. You know your power sockets where you plug your, your television sets and your TVs? I can do that. My father taught me how to do that. And these days, if you pay attention, the instructions are pretty clear when you buy them. You can, you know, but then again, some of them are not very well made. So you actually need someone to even teach you how to do all those things. I can do that, by the way. Now, I can also, for smaller older cars, change the oil. Yes, I can do that. Obviously, I can change the tires uh, of any vehicle. I can do that. I don't need a professional to come do that for me. And there was a time when my dad had uh, this mobile, um, what do you call it, tire pump, right? So for a very long time, we were not going to vulcanizers. We would just sit in the house, plug the thing into the uh, into the. Uh, um, uh, 1.5 volt charger in the vehicle you know that where you had the cigarette lighter right we'll plug the device there and we'll pump our tire and change our tires ourselves my father made sure all of us in our house could change a tire he made i mean what i mean make sure he would stand this is what i meant to do this is what i meant to do do it like this do it like this obviously we made errors at some point in time but you know before we knew what was happening we could do that my mom can change tires my mom can change tires. We can, I can, I can nail things into place. I'll, I'll probably not make you a good chair, but you know, when, when the chair is broken, I can, and I can see where the nail used to be, I can nail it back into place. Pretty good at that. Yeah, I can also hang, hang pictures on the wall. Yeah. So we never called anybody to do those kind of things. The question is, what can you do? 0172300002. 0817923 the diy culture in nigeria do you think it's a healthy one do you think a lot of people will do things by themselves or does everybody outsource everything at their homes your shirt is torn can you sew it can you put your button back or must you go and meet the seamstress or the tailor your shoe is bad. Can you, you know, use needle and thread to hold it in place? I know a few people who can. I cannot. But what exactly can you do? Ooh, when your TV goes bad. <laughs> this is a tricky one. But anyway, uh, let me know. I'm not just let us know if you can actually do certain things at home. What are they? 
And, and these are the kind of things you are teaching your children today. WhatsApp, Telegram, 0809 And there's a very big reason why in America, DIY, wait for it, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Noble is in Gokana. Noble, good morning to you. I'm fine. Good morning. Welcome, please. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Can you turn off your radio set? I'll step away from the radio, Noble. Man, although I'm using, let me, let me, let me do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh dear. We lost that uh, connection. Zion is Jerry. Zion, good morning to you. Yeah, thank you very much, Jude. As for this subject matter, what is happening to us? Oh, 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 talk about village people working extra hard. Okay, all right, uh, rejoice, Dima, on Facebook. That's at Nigeria Info PH. At Nigeria Info PH. Rejoice, Dima says, I can paint my room myself as a lady. I just did it this week. I can mend my footwear myself and I wash my clothes myself. Now, remember I told you a few moments ago that DIY is a multi-billion dollar industry, all right, in the U.S. This is why. You see, there, there are tools, right, home appliances that you can use to fix certain things in your house. There are power tools, you know, that you can drill, nail things, uh, glues, cleaners, wipers. All of those things will make sure you don't go and spend top dollar outside to get a professional to do it for you if it's basic so more people right would purchase these items and do the work themselves olushagun is a room of parallel olushagun good morning to you please good morning brother Jude. good morning good morning this is a very interesting topic and i can remember when i had a socket develop a fort mm. so i went to get another one Try to contact the electrician to come and fix it for me. Just only single socket. And the guy charged me two five. Ah, I think two five is too much, my brother. Can't you come? <laughs> See the way you shouted. Ah. <laughs> go on, please. Yes, go on. Okay. I said, ah, can't you collect uh, one five or one thousand? You got a single check, you know, it's what they can call I said, I don't know. I just left the guy. And I went straight to my house. And I get good by my car. I go to the socket. I lose it out. In the process, I monitor how I lose it, how I disconnected the wire. Mm. So, at the end of the day, I fill the socket. I fill the socket and I'm still using the socket up to the now without developing, without having any problem. So, that's a little thing you can do yourself. Hmm? Yes. That's not, it's not everything you, you go out call, to call. Somebody, go out call somebody. Mm. There's a lot of things that I can do on my own. My, my okay, so you, you, you can change you can change the, the socket. You did that. What else can you do, Olushagun? Sir? What else can you do? I can also I can also change the plug of my car. Maybe the plug is not fire where uh, you I can, can get a plug panel uh, and look okay. it out and fix it. I can even change my 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 square pump. Nice, Michael is in Borough Creek. What what can you do by yourself, Michael? Good morning. I can do I can do so much. Oh, mm. lot of this. I can I can my Honda Civic O3. I can change my. CDC sensor. Whoa! I can change. Yes. Apart from those ones, apart from the board joint, which I don't have uh, the tools for. Otherwise, yeah. I can even do them. But okay. Sometimes I go through my phone and, and I read a lot about my car. So mm. I can do some sensor. I can change my 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 gas pump. That is the the fuel pump. Okay. I can do a whole lot of things in my car, except those electrical. Okay. All electrical things that yeah. really go near. Otherwise, I can change my fuse because I have the, I have this long nose flyer. Yes, I used to pinch them it. out. Only a good yes, driver would know that. But the but uh, those the fuse box yes. in the wood and underneath your pedal. Yes, I can go down here, change. I can change my lamp. But I, I can also do some things on my own in terms of K three. Ah, yes, I, I, yeah, I do. I go. I learn as long as I know the. The quantity of water, uh, margarine, mm. flood, whatever. Just give me all I need at this case. The, everything I can take 
Though I can't do uh, very high in anyway, because I am not a fan of. <laughs> but you can you so can much. bake you can bake cake and and enjoy yourself. Yes. Okay. All right, Michael. Thank you very much. We'll be back after this break. For more talk, news, and sports, stay tuned to Nigeria Info. We'll be right back after this.
you know, nice things of life. So, when we were much younger, my dad would make us, in quote, ice cream. It was basically a milkshake, but you know, it was ice cream. What my dad would do was, he would buy a banana. He would blend it. He would put some soda in it, okay, and put some nuts in it, and then put it in the fridge. And for us as children, it was the most delicious thing on the planet. We liked ice cream. But it was when we were much older, it occurred to us that maybe buying a big bowl of ice cream, you know, was more expensive than buying, you know, the banana and blending and just putting, you know, half a cup of uh, soda into it and then putting the the freezer and we'll all be, you know, "Mm, uh, daddy has made us ice cream. That was DIY. For a long time, and I mean for a very long time, the only time that we would have an electrician step into our house was when the TV set would be bad. And when I say bad, I mean, you know when your TV does this, would be so bad that you'd be using your hand to slap it. Ta, ta, tower, let this TV show. But when you go back, my father will bring the TV down, unscrew it, fiddle with it, and it will come back on. The same thing with bulbs, the same thing with almost anything electrical. In fact, I was very certain that if my dad had the time, he would have probably wired our house himself. But obviously, he didn't have the time. This is 2023. How many of you with your children can do certain things on your own? Like I made mention, the DIY business is so big in the US that it is now valued in the multi-billions. multi So it's not one, not two. We're talking about nearly 10 or 15 billion dollars worth of marketing going on just in that ecosystem. People buy glue. The the towels people fix in their houses. Do you know some people in America fix it themselves? They don't call masons. They fix it themselves. Noble is a room okay. Noble, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Go on, please. Yes, in respect of the program, I can refer fully generate or service as 200 kVA generator. 200 kVA? Yes, 200 ah. kVA, like uh, Saka and GMG. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so it's very nice for one to be closer to those things. I think to have those knowledge, it's very good and very exciting in case you have any challenge. Mm. At least you can just help yourself out. You can just at least make someone happy. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm having a serious challenge now. What? Serious challenge. I'm having a serious challenge on this on quitting because courses are after me. I can't go out to help myself current now. So I'm looking for a way to meet with the CP at least to talk with him. Okay. Well, what, well, why don't you send a message to us on WhatsApp and we'll see if we can you, you can direct you to uh, a nearby police station that you can make your your complaints properly. Why don't you do that? I can't, I can't have access to WhatsApp. I've been trying for some time. No, now. just send a message, a, a normal a, SMS message. Well, let's let's start with that, all right? Yes. To the WhatsApp number, though. But thank st- you, sir. All right, thank you uh, very much. So he can service generators, big generators. So, yeah, uh, if you're ever in need, well, he'll be able to do that. It saves him stress. Now, a few years ago, all right, uh, I think it was about, f- was, that, was that four or five of us, all right? Uh, we were in a vehicle, all right? And then the vehicle went down. Uh, till tomorrow, I'll keep saying it. If you're going to travel, travel with your mates, all right? Travel with your guys. So i pretty comfortable driving. I knew a little bit about cars. Now, one of the guys who was with us in the car was an engineering student. Now, the car stopped, broke down. Something was not just you know, moving correctly. Between the four of us, ladies and gentlemen, with sandpaper, some sticks... And good old-fashioned elbow grease. We got the car working. Guess what the problem was? There's, there's something, there's something, well, uh, let me just call it, as, let me invert to the common term, contact, right? Where the battery heads are. We figured it, it wasn't coming on. And so somehow it had affected, you know, what sends the power into the engine from the, from the, uh, from the fuse box. So we tried, tried, tried. And this guy kept saying, Jude, is this thing, is this thing, is this thing. We got a stick. We pried open the fuse. We used wire. You know, you know. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> in our time, we used to keep, you know, 
condemned wires in the back of the car. When you take a car for servicing and they are, oh, this one is bad. They throw it in the in the boot, the headlamps. They throw so we just took the wire from there. We bridged it, put it back in, used the sandpaper in the car, cleaned the head, boom, we were good to go. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to the mechanics. I am not saying you shouldn't go and call a mason or a tiler, you know, to do your jobs. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that if it's small enough, can you do it? Big question. The views and opinions shared on this program do not represent the position of Nigeria Info FM. Nigeria Info, let's talk. So 0179230002, 0179230007. That's where you find us uh, on uh, our call line. It's the call screen now, so please just drop your name and your location and we get to talk to you this morning. We have just about 15 or so minutes before we uh, you know, say our goodbye for today and um, we get on to the news and indeed to other conversations. All right, so 0179230002, 0179230003. What jobs or services can you do on your own at home? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want to find out from you this morning uh, on facebook at nigeria info ph at nigeria info ph on facebook and on x at nigeria info ph nae uh Nike says i can wash my clothes myself well, fair enough my, your clothes are small doesn't mean you shouldn't get a washing machine but hey please you know there's nothing wrong with washing your clothes yourself but wait a minute wait a minute and then when you say you wash your clothes, are you talking about using your washing machine by yourself or sending out to the laundry? Those are two different things. So if you if you stuff the, the, the clothes into the washing machine, you are doing your laundry yourself, which is great. But are you talking about that or are you talking about using your own hands, put in a bucket, take your bar of soap or your detergent and you are, you know, wish wishy wishy washy Is that it? That's, let's know exactly what you mean by you do your laundry yourself. All right, more comments. Let's jump into them. What's up now? 0809-030-6416. Lady Erebboa says, Jude, good morning. I change bulbs, but I can't do it when the current is on because I avoid live wires. Obviously, the smart move is to turn it off. <laughs> and if I fix the water closet accessories. Nice. I fix my shoes. I fix screws on things. All right? Interesting. I, I made my sister's nano sim. So you just use the, the cutter there. Good. I fix my falling wall tiles. Nice. I nail things into place. I sew straight stitching. Okay, good. I cement and fix crevices. I learned that as well. Let me say that. You know, small, you know, you just get sand. You may I may not know the ratio, but you know. You just get the sand, put the, the cement in, you know, put the water, put some pebbles, you know, you mix, mix, mix. And, you know, we, when, when there's a crack or there's a big hole, you know, in the wall, we'll just do it ourselves. We, we in fact, when, when I was in Uniport, the rooms that we stayed in, after, after my uncle <laughs> paid for the painters to paint the main house, right? The main house. After that, every other scene inside, the outside they painted, though. I think the first time they painted outside and part of the inside. But, it, but the big cues and our rooms, we, the boys, we painted. In fact, when, as they were painting, he told us, Sure, you know, you people will go and paint that place. In fact, I don't even know what I'm telling you people. Carry the bucket, take the, the, the painting brush, oh, yeah. go and paint. So, I think, was it three or four of us? We painted that place ourselves. We painted it. We saved him a ton of money. It was DIY. And from then on, whenever those places needed to be painted, guess who gets called? Yes, you guessed it. We, the boys. We, the boys. In fact, I, I remember him famously saying, how can he have six boys, or maybe seven that time, in this house? And he will pay for somebody to paint, to go and buy him fuel, to fix his car. No, 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 no. 
No. What are we here for? Hmm. Moving on. Jude, what about cooking? All right. Uh, it seems you're good at that. Yeah, well, I dabble. I dabble. I dabble. At least I know I haven't cooked anything that anybody has vomited. All right. So, yeah, I, I dabble. So, but it's so unfortunate. Many men engage in early and unwanted marriage because of cooking and laundry. <laughs> Please note, cooking is among domestic handbook. Please. As for me, I can do so many things. I kind of form a bakery. Interesting. Now, before I got married, I and my siblings, five sisters, wow, could do everything except some plumbing work. Birthday wedding cakes, some electrical work, sewing shoes, making each other's hair, making local drinks. Yes, Zobo and Konu. Yes, sewing, learned from our mom. Right now, I'm cutting my children's Christmas party wares. I can go on and on. We hardly invite people to fix anything for us and I'm teaching my children to do the same. What I cannot do is fixing my car. The reason is I've not learned about it. My husband is a professional when it comes to automobiles. Good morning, Jude. Good morning to you. Yeah. You can be a jack of all trades, you know. So it's fair enough. Good morning. All right. Uh, for me, good morning, Jude. For me, I, I do lots of things. I cook delicious meals even if I have little food stuff because I know how how to marry the stuff together. I like that word. You know how to marry the stuff together. All right. I have had my hair cut myself. It saves me time and money. Thank you, Jude. Speaking of haircuts, a lot more Africans are now becoming wiser when they get to the UK and to the US. Right. I remember a few years ago, my friend, uh, when he was going in for his MSC, uh, I think it was in Manchester, right? After about a month or two, he wanted to cut his hair. Being a Nigerian, he carried his clippers, you know, with his two left legs, took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, went to a salon and sat down and like, oh, I want to have a haircut. You know, you've seen, when you see, um, what's that movie? The Barber Shop. Oh, yeah, everybody was likes to go to the Barber Shop to chill, get gossip. So he wanted to be part of that culture. He went, sat down, and then asked for a haircut. As a student, he felt, nah, I have my student ID, not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, back then, back this was what, 2000 and, was not 12 or 13, he paid eight pounds, is it eight pounds 20? Eight pounds to cut his hair. He said he almost cried. Eight pounds. He said that was the first, the second, third, and the last time he went anywhere in the UK to cut his hair. He learned how to cut his hair on his own. He sits down in front of the mirror. He takes his clipper and he does his thing. And if he doesn't tell you, you wouldn't know. He cuts his hair himself. He is not cutting the hair of his children. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. No, nope. what? <laughs> 10 pounds now to cut hair. 10 pounds. You gotta be joking. Okay, all right, uh, Jude. Good morning. Using the DIY concept, I've been I've been able to do so many things, namely pipe fittings, catering, cooking, minor electrical connections, fixing some of my car issues, ranging from flushing my nozzles, fuel pump, ejector head, spark plug, loosening of my radiator and block uh, blocking a leakage, uh, removing my power steering rack. Ah uh ah, -uh. my guy, you're a mechanical. <laughs> do you know what it is to remove power steering rack? <laughs> you're a mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mechanic. All right, uh, my alternator. I could do alternators. It depends on the car. I learned how to do five hundred five and five hundred four. Pretty nice, by the way. Jude, I can do a lot of things. I can even use my DIY skill to get some little cash. That's the essence of DIYs. Michael in Burukiri, thank you very much. Okay, let's get here. Um, hi, Jude. I can change the oil and plugs of the generator. Okay, fix a sport door handle. A lot of people cannot. I mend uh, my footwear as a handbag myself. I mount items like toilet paper hangers, what, what the soap and what and uh, hand wash dispensers, mirrors, bathroom, etc. Really good. I change and replace electric bulb. See, save yourself some time. I construct makeshift household uh, items from plastic containers and bottles. In fact, if I imagine it, I put it to work. Whenever I want to fix any faulty household item, my mom and siblings will go. Here comes the engineer who has lost, who has lost the medical practice. <laughs> yeah, but hey, there's nothing wrong with using your hands. 
Guess what, Jude? I began the idea of making shawarma in our home without watching any YouTube videos. If you taste it, you will eat shawarma outside. So I will take you up on that offer. All right, send me a bill, and uh, I will buy one of your shawarma wraps. Why will you do that? Let me let me put it to the test. Right, Asilia, I'm calling you out on international radio. You sent me this message. I am putting you to the test. You know when it comes to food, I don't play. So. Let me know how much it will cost for you to make me a shawarma wrap and I will taste it live on radio and I'll tell everybody if it was good enough. Let us see if it's... But what if you now go and buy and... <laughs> what if you go and buy and then you pass it on as something that you made? Hmm. How do we do this thing now? Guys, give me, give me tips. What do we do with this Asilia's uh, shawarma? All right, moving on. I'm a designer. I create flyers, business cards, websites, pages that can attract customers. Now, I don't need to pay any money to buy a flyer or any other e-documents. That's my DIY. That's why I want to teach some students if you want to learn. And uh, chat me. Well, obviously, you need to pay for adverts, by the way. All right, good. Now, uh, Jude, I service my generator and the grinding engine myself. I have also constructed my goat cage myself. And some Wow. Unduka. You made your goat. How many goats do you have, by the way? Hmm. All right. Uh, Toby says, I'm a catfish farmer. I bought a cutting machine from my farm compound recently and I diligently learned how to change the cutting blades and cutting wires and also how to operate it efficiently. As I talk to you, I clear my farm grasses with my cutting machine myself. Toby, we are from Opobo. Thank you very much. And this one says, I wire my apartment myself. I make my clothes myself. I service my motorcycle myself. Mr. Stan. Very good. All right. Okay. Um, dude, this is interesting to have and do something literally helpful. I, I, I totally believe it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, my mantra is, okay, let me, let me go back. I changed bulbs. I, I can't do it with the what you mean is voltage on because I avoid live wires. Anybody should. I fix my shoes, fix screws. I cement and fix crevices. I paint walls and things etc. My mantra is, this was made by humans. So I should be able to repair them. Nice. I think I am going to copy that as another mantra I should use. Very good. Oh. This was made by humans, so I should be able to repair them, Lady Eric. But that's a very good mantra to have. You maintain things yourself. Okay, all right. Good morning, Jude. I am a master of DIY. Uh, right now, I am fixing my car, right? Literally. Are you serious? Uh, the electrical and the panel work, I can do. Jude, I paint. I do mason jobs. I'm a carpenter. I am bending. Ah! Scaffolding, I do the electrical work from A to Z. I do electronics about 50%. I service my gen A to Z. I can. What's your problem in life? <laughs> well, don't you want other people to eat? Look, once again, the idea for DIY is to save you some money, all right? And also to keep your, your, your hands and your mind busy, right? So you don't outsource everything. Sometimes, you know, you, you want to be able to, as it were, intimate yourself with the things that you use very regularly. But, I can. This one that you are fixing car, doing electrical work, panel beating work, paint, mason, carpenter, iron bending. You bet, my brother, even scaffolding. I can. You, you gotta, you gotta calm down. You know, you gotta calm down. You know, there's, there's such a thing as doing too much. I can I, I want to advise, as your friend, I'm going to advise you, calm down. Just breathe. breathe, breathe. There you go. Calm down. Let somebody eat your money. It's okay. It's okay. That's how the economy works. All right. Now, I can teach. I have no formal training. As long as I understand it, I can break it down no matter the subject. People always say, oh, so I am not an Olodo. I just didn't have a teacher like you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Very good. Now let's get to Facebook. We can take one or, one or two more calls. A lot of messages are coming through on this one. Uh, what, the numbers to call 0817923 At Nigeria Info PH is where you find us on Facebook and on X at Nigeria Info ph is where you find us on facebook and on x lucky azuoko on x says i develop software i can repair and network computer systems on your own it's pretty good for larry all right on x says well jude uh catering services teleconsulting networking that i can do hmm. on x not bad not bad not bad. So if you're listening to me right now, you, you have children and you find out that you're virtually everything that concerns you and your household is being done by somebody else, may, just maybe you should take a pause, reassess, and then figure out some of the things that you and your children can do on your own. And no, it's not just a cost-saving measure. Sometimes these are the things that create bonds between family. You see how the car made the bond between my father and us very solid. He taught us how to change tires, how to recognize when tires were bad. Even before you guys now have uh, tire monitoring uh, devices on your vehicles, we knew the sound alone, the way it wobbled, we could tell when we picked up a stone, when we picked up a nail, and we'll change it ourselves. Jude, hmm. I wash my clothes and iron them, cook my food, and also paint my house. Ah, nice. And you can also address the public as an MC. Well, there you go. As an MC to another MC, I'd like to say thank you for joining us on another conversation. And please be not ashamed of doing things with your own hands. DIY. Hello, Potako. We return tomorrow, Friday. But for now, Au revoir. Stay with us. Nigeria Info. We'll be back.